Hello, today I will talk about actions in Windows Control Operation from Operate button to Operate Web Browser and actions in HTML Control Operation, HTML Attribute Operate and Execute JS. All these actions mentioned today need to be executed combined with controls in Forms. First, I right click on Forms and add a form. Name the new form. Now right click on the new form and add a function. I can add some actions in the function. Name the new function. Right click on it. I add the first action, operate button. Here to select a form. Here to select a control, that is, a button to operate. I need to add a button in the form first. Right click on my form, click edit, add a button like this. Back here, I select this button. Here to select a function. To hide or show the button. To disable or enable a control. To set full color or back color for the control. Here I take set text as an example. I can use text in variable. But here I input the text manually. Save settings. Now there is an action in my function. If I want to execute the action, I need to select an event in my function to trigger this function. That is, once I do the event, the function will work. Right click on my form, click edit. I can set an event which triggers the function when the form loads. Click set to select a function. Here I select button 1 button and I set a click event which will trigger the function when I click button 1 button. Save settings and debug it. When I hit this button, the function will work. The action is to change the text on the button. I click it, the text changed. Next action is operate checkbox. It's a similar action. All the actions I will mention today are similar except select function part. Now I'm going to add checkbox to the form. Here I select checkbox control. Compared with operate button, checkbox has two more functions. To set checked state or to get checked state. Here I take set checked state as an example. Two states to check or not. Go back to view the default state. Default state is not to select, which corresponds to false. I input true. Save settings and debug it. When I hit button 1 button, text on it will change and then checkbox will be selected. I click it, the function works. The third action, operate checks list box. There is difference between add item and insert item. Add item means to add text right after the original text. Insert item means to add content to the specified location. Here to input index of the location. Here to input the text content. First, 
I drag to add a check the list box button. I insert text in a place where the index is 1. The text content is ABC. Save the settings. Select check the list box, find its attribute item, edit the strings with one per line. Save settings and debug it. When I hit button, checkbox selected. Text changed. The index still starts with zero. So index one should be here. The difference between checked item and selected item. To get content of checked item, to get content of selected item. Let me show you this way. To click like this is to select. To click here in the box is to check. That's a difference. The fourth action is operate combo box. Function selections here are the same as those of checked list box. Next action is data grid view. It's not to bind data in form for this function, but to set data here. And then select a table variable. The table variable will be displayed in the form. If I select set current cell function. Here to set the text. Or use text in variable. If I select set cell value. Here to input location to be set to input it in the form of coordinates. Here to input new content. This function is to delete selected row. Next action is operate group box. For its function selection, I have explained. The seventh action Operate label. The functions are the same. Next action, operate link label. Same functions also. Next one, operate list box. Function selections are almost the same as those of checked list box, but one more function here, set selected index. The next, operate picture box. I can set location of image. When editing a form, if I add the control picture box, it can display pictures. I can set path for the picture in its attribute list. Through get image location function, I can get the path I've set for it and save the path to a string variable. Next action, operate progress bar. Here is a set value function. I give you an example. 
I delete all the actions ahead of it. Drag to add a progress bar. Click it. Set a function. The function will work once I click it. Select set value function. Here I input a number which represents a percentage. Save settings and debug it. I click it. The progress bar shows. Next action is operate panel. For the following selections I have shared. Next one, operate radio button. The same function selections. I add an action operate reach text box. Two different functions, set and get RTF. Rich text box control can open and save RTF file. I can input text and convert it into RTF text. I can also convert RTF text into text through get RTF function. Next action is operate tab control. Set selected tab function and set selected index function are the same, both to set selected tab. But set selected tab function is to set name of the selected tab, and set selected index is to set index of the selected tag. Next one, operate text box. I have introduced these functions. Then it's operate web browser function. The first two functions I have introduced, navigate means to move to the specified URL. Here to input URL, you are going to visit. The following four functions are commonly used functions to refresh, to stop, to go back, and to go forward. Those are actions in Windows Control today. Next, I will move to actions in HTML control operation. I add an HTML form first. Name the HTML form and select a local HTML file in disk F. Now add a function and name it. The first action, HTML attribute operate. Here to select an HTML form to operate in. Here to select a form where I do operations. Here to select element with ID attribute in HTML form. Here is no such element, because I need to edit the HTML form first. To analyze elements on the web page, save the results, get back and select the element. Select an attribute. If I want to get an attribute, I need to save the result to a global variable. If I want to set an attribute, I need to input the new attribute text here. The second action is execute JS. Here I still need to select an HTML form where I do operations. Here I should input the method that is contained in JS code I input below. I input JS code here first. 
the method test function. I copy and paste it here. If you know JavaScript, you can input a few methods here, but you should choose one to use and input it here. If there are any parameters in method, I can set parameters here. Here I can even save the return value to a variable. For example, if I select calculator function, I can save calculation to a variable. Save settings. I still need to select an event. Right click on my HTML form. I still select this button. Once I click it, the function will work. The JS code means to turn this area into gray. That is, once I click this button, this area will be gray. I test it. The function works. That's all for today. Thank you.